guys and welcome back to another episode in my zodiac series if you don't know i am doing a series of makeup tutorials based on the um you know 12 it's 12 right yeah 12 or so uh zodiacs and we are currently on cancer i'll link a playlist down below of all the others if i haven't done yours yet don't worry it's coming because i'm gonna do them all just give me some time anyways i'm starting out with my base i already primed my face with a first aid beauty hyaluronic primer and i'm taking my petty pata um foundation and just applying that on my face with this Laneige uh cushion puff because I don't own a beauty blender right now. <laughs> that I am taking this first aid beauty concealer and just putting it under my eyes and anywhere else on my face that needs a little bit more extra coverage I'm actually going to use a new product that I got. It is this Take A Layer Cream Blush by 3CE. And this is my first time really using it really, really. So like, I didn't really know how to use it and it was really pigmented, but I love the way that it turned out in the end. It just took a little messing about. So if anyone has any tips for using cream blush, please let me know. <laughs> Anyways. So I wanted to do a lot of heavy blush in this look because a thing about cancers is, is they are very emotional, whether it be sad emotions or happy emotions, you tend to express that with blood rushing to your face in the form of happy blush or just a very flushed, sad, flustered face. So that's what the blush represents for y'all cancers. Um, I'm then taking this pretty vulgar powder and just setting everything that I just did. Now for the eyeballs in this look. One of the colors that is most representative of cancers is white, oddly enough, and that would not have made a fun eyeshadow look. So I went for the other colors that you guys often pull from, which is blue, which is often associated as a melancholy color, and I decided to use this pastel blue from this Profusion Spectrum palette. Um, I absolutely love this palette, and I'm so excited that I got to use this blue color because it's absolutely gorgeous. So I just took a very flat shader brush and applied that all over my lids. One thing about cancers is they are highly imaginative and they love to think outside of the box. So I decided to go for more of an editorial like runway look, not very much a practical everyday look for this because I thought it would spark something in y'all cancers that would make you super happy. Um, so I'm just applying this Profusion Black Liquid Eyeliner on my upper eyelids before going in and doing something wild, y'all. I don't know if what I did is okay to do, um, but I just took this Profusion uh, Liquid like lip gloss and put it on my eyelid because I wanted super glossy like transparent blue eyeshadow all over my lid I know that some brands make like eye glosses but this isn't a look I would do often so this is just like what I did to take some photos for Instagram and then I wiped it off if you're gonna wear this out and about I'd recommend getting like an eye gloss but this just works for now to finish off the eyes I took this um, eyelash curler curled my eyelids as per usual then took this better than demonetized mascara and just put it on my lashes the one thing i love about cancers is that they are super emotional and the, they're so moody it's very deep and they're very creative when they draw from this sadness and i really like the look that i drawed from y'all's sadness i think it turned out really good so you go cancers you're so creative um when I was Googling cancers and doing my research, I found one of the bad traits of cancers is that they are unable to let go, that they're very nostalgic. So I thought that the baby blue eyeshadow really went with that because like maybe if you were born in like the 80s, um, when you were a teenager in the 90s, you loved 
the pastel eyeshadow look and you just don't want to let that go but you're creative so you're stepping it up a notch um i just deepened the blush on my face because it wasn't blushy enough i just used one of the orange or red eyeshadows from the spectrum palette by profusion and now i am just taking a ofra lipstick and doing some fake freckles on my face um, I just wanted to do this. It has nothing to do with cancers. It's cancers, you cry a lot. So I took this Profusion Blue liquid eyeliner, made a little dot. It makes your eyes kind of look sadder and droopier. And I thought it was like a good representation of tears without actually having tears on your eyes. <laughs> I don't know. Then I just took this Lancome highlighter and highlighted my face like I always do to give it a glowy, youthful finish. Glowy, not gluey even though my eyelids, they, they felt real gluey. <laughs> then I took this Profusion liquid lipstick and just put it on my lips. This is like a super nostalgic color for me. It totally reminds me of like the 90s, so that's why I went with it. Anyways, that's it for this look. I hope y'all cancers are happy. <laughs> Bye.